Mr. McCall. Mr. McCall. Mr. McCall. What? Look, Sebastian, I don't think these daily sessions are working out anymore. I'm working out. What you talking about? I know it's a lack of cooperation and communication on your part. You daydream for most of the session, and progress just isn't being made. Well, maybe progress isn't being made because you suck at your job. Excuse me? I mean, this is a two-way street, right? All you do is check my heart rate, ask stupid questions, and give me those pills to take. So maybe that's why we're still here. Standoffish. And if no progress isn't being made, what do you keep writing down in that stupid notebook? Look, I recommend you take some time off these get-togethers to get yourself in the right frame of mindset because you're being sarcastic and abrasive, Mr. McCall. Also, take these pills at the prescribed dosage, one every two hours, you know, to mellow things up. Get myself together. Isn't that the whole reason why we're paying you? Well, since I'm doing such a bad job, maybe you can do better. I arrange for our next appointment to be a week from now, if that's fine with you. Yeah, that's fine. Well, all right, take care. Close the door on your way out, and remember, take one every two hours. What's up, boy? What's good with you in this dusty fit? Yo, dusty shoes, yo, IU shirt. You finna be right at home with your dusty mom in your dusty house. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hey, don't walk too fast in them nasty shoes, them beat up shoes. <laughs> Man, I ain't got time for this one. <clears throat> um, excuse me? serious in the first place. For real? Hey, you're in my second hour class, right? Your name is Sebastian? Yeah. I'm Coda. I don't really like touching people like that. I see. You're like a germaphobe. I mean, if that's what you want to call it, then sure. Either you're a germaphobe or you're a goth, because your clothes are kind of giving up this vibe. Well, clothing is equivalent to expression, and this is how I choose to express myself. I explain a few things. No offense, but is there any reason why you're still here? Chill, man. I just wanted to see if you wanted to join me and my girlfriend for lunch later. Nah, I'm good. I'm not really that hungry. You don't have to eat anything. You can just hang out. I don't know about all that. Come on, just this once. Alright, but hold on. I'll have to shut down the computer. So are you like a new transfer student here or something? Yeah, we never seen you here before. I'm Nova, by the way. I've been here since freshman year. Really? How come we never seen you here before then? 
I mean, if you really wanted to see me, then you would've. There's not many students here. So if anybody doesn't notice anybody, it's because they just don't want to. That's pretty deep. You get that from a book or something? Just a random thought. What are y'all looking at? <laughs> you don't get out much, do you? No, not really. I just stay to myself mostly and listen to music. Wow, what's funny? You just in your own little bubble like we're not even here. Sorry, I guess it's just natural. It's cool. So, speaking of music, what do you typically listen to? Well, nothing on the radio. Typically people like Nirvana, Travis Scott, Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi? You listen to Kid Cudi? He's like my favorite artist, dude. Really? I mean, he's a big influence to me. Man on the Moon, Speed and Bullet, Indie Cut. Man, Kid Cudi is the greatest artist of our generation. He's borderline hip hop, borderline rock music. He combines the... How come you're always at your locker? Hey man, don't don't do that, dude. Hey, whatever. We want to take you somewhere. Take me? Yeah, you seem kind of stressed. Won't the teachers be mad? So? Okay, where are we going? Hey, stop asking questions. Just follow us. So, here we are. The old track? Yep. Why here? Just gives off a different vibe from the rest of the school, you know? Don't you think it's kind of all... We think of it this way. Don't pay attention to how it looks. Pay attention to the quiet isolation. Yeah, it gives you time to clear your head. Channel some of those negative vibes into something positive. So, what do y'all do here? We just relax. I bet y'all throw this place to a lot of people. Visionary was like the best episode of all the other artists. Dude, Paige is like so perfect, bro. She's the best character in that whole show. Hold on. What's good, man? Man, get off me, bro. What's the problem, bro? Bro, you know what the problem is. Man, you always mess with me like I did something to you. I'll just be cool with my man's cold. What's the issue? Do you know him? Come on, man. You're like twice his size. Man, look. I don't even care no more. If you're going to do what you got to do, then do it. Vicky was? I don't really care. You good. Yeah, I just didn't expect you to come at him all careless like that. 
Yeah, I've been feeling pretty careless for a while now. Yeah, but I mean, he was like twice your size. He could have hurt you for real. Yeah, I know. But it doesn't really matter to me anymore. What do you mean? Like, I go to this guy named Dr. Harris, who well, I used to. And he'd always tell me that I need to find myself and stuff like that. And I was thinking maybe I found myself after all, you know? Yeah, that's good. But how does Karrison's come into this? I don't really know. Like, he'd also give me these pills to take one every two hours. And they make me feel good. And I was thinking, if I took a whole bunch of them, how good would that really make me feel? Are you talking about suicide? I mean, yeah. Well, why haven't you done it? Huh? I mean, you said you were thinking about it for a while now. Why haven't you done it? I don't know, man. Like, you guys became my friends, and I've been feeling pretty good lately. But at the same time, those guys, Tim and Rashad, they really pissed me off. So it's like, it all counts as out, you know? Well, have you tried it? No. But I've been having these dreams while I was in the black and white room, while contemplating taking a whole bunch of pills. And it seemed kind of odd. But... Well, look. I'm your friend, but I'm not going to be that guy who tries to stop you from killing yourself. If you think it'll make you happy, then do it. Really? Yeah, I don't want you to kill yourself, but if you really think that's what you want, then I won't stop you. Hey, thanks, man. No problem. Well, I'm going to go think for a minute, you know. I'll catch up with you later. All right. Hey, don't kill yourself. You seem to be doing a lot better, Sebastian. But talk to me. How do you feel about your progress? Well, Dr. Harris, to be honest, I feel like I've come a long way. I used to be angry and careless all the time, but now I feel normal again, you know? What about your outlook on life? I recall from previous sessions you saying you still had suicidal thoughts. I mean, they're not as frequent anymore. Maybe like once every two weeks. But it's like ever since Coda and Nova taught me about channeling the negative energies into a positive aura, I've been meditating a lot, so I'll just be cooling, you know? I can tell. When I first met you, you wore these dark, drab clothes, but now I can see you're finally coming out yourself, like you're seeing life in a different way. Well, yeah. It's like, I used to think that my releaser would appeal until I realized that I just needed friends to help me through these troubling times. Thank you, Dr. Harris, for this therapy. It was much needed. Much needed indeed. No problem, Sebastian. Same time next week? All right, see you later. Close the door on your way out, will you? You okay? Yeah, man, I'm good. Ready to go to the track? Go. I had a dream. Yeah, that I was the biggest out. That I had the biggest clout. Going in and out. You were discretion advised, cover your eyes when you walk through. Yeah. I want the crane. Cash rules everything around me. Kill for the dollar, dollar, dollar bill. All the grain in the world won't suffice, I need a bow to me. I wanna be sane. Autographs and taking pictures of me. Paparazzi, all the kamikaze. People not gonna know what to do with themselves when they around me. I want to be king You can see the fame and the claim shine off me You can feel the pain and the slang when you talk to me Hear the horns blaze when I coronate Yeah, you hear them horns blazing That's the coronation You hear them horns blazing That's the coronation 
yeah You hear them horns blazing? That's the coronation King of the King me You hear them horns blazing? That's the coronation I had a dream That I could have everything Have a palace, a castle established for stature Establish myself as a king Master and masters of master weeds Faster and fetch away fatter leaves Changing the weather like shadow leaves Father Martin like a daddy's king Dreaming of things I want Wishing I had my dad around Cause that means that he can't pass the crown But I'ma take it right off the top Gotta be on top of it Succeed and I got the wish Pot luck like I got something It'll have to do like I got this My wish that I could be hold the gold Holding the gold and spurs on my snow So we saw him we scoring the gold Holding the trophy patrol in need of the ring Winning and taking the victory we Teasing and seeing the flashes that blink ding, 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 ding. That's my dream Now I'm waking up But my dream is what I'm taking up Yeah I know that the stakes are up But time is money I can pay it up Gotta work for what I want Gotta keep the working up Cause one day my dream will be worth from me